Hi and thank you for joining me. Today we're doing another crazy, crazy, massive sci-fi manga unboxing. Usually with my unboxings I will be top down and we are going to move to top down but as you can see these boxes are massive. They're so big. Especially the bottom one. It's also super duper heavy. Kudos to Ben who managed to carry them both through together. I could not lift them together. I'm so weak. And you see my phone stand. I've been fighting with it trying to get it at a good angle and I probably could have if I fought a bit further but why not just hold it like this and then I can rearrange when we actually unbox. So this is my single biggest order of manga that I have ever done. I think we, I hope, have about 70-ish volumes across these two boxes. Of those 70-ish, there are five volumes that are not new release, two of which are from my East Kai Month giveaway, which should still be just about ongoing if you haven't checked it out be sure to do so. And then the rest are new releases. So I am so, so excited to do this unboxing. I'm doing loads of traveling at the weekend. It's Thursday right now. So I'm really excited to get this open and then I can do so much binge reading of the weekend. I mean, reading so much the past few days. Oh, I just can't wait. I can't wait. Like it came at, like in the afternoon. I was like, do I just, do I just stop working in film? You know, please, no! I have no idea what it is about this black sheet, but it drives the cats absolutely insane. They love playing about on it, I don't know why. See the other cat, I've shoved the cat tree out the corner so you couldn't see it in the thumbnail. But they've got a new massive cat tree that they... Oh, you know, please! Anyway, back to... Oh dear. Back to manga, sci-fi and unboxing, my poor table. Of course it's the one day I didn't put the proper legs on. Just before we get into it, be sure to like, comment and subscribe. And if you're interested in anything I picked up, do check out Sci-Fi and be sure to use code CAKETINS for 10% off your order. Also make sure that you are logged in when you do the order because they do have a loyalty scheme and you can build up credit and that gives you more money off your manga. Check out Sci-Fi, use code CAKETINS, be sure you're signed in for the loyalty credit but we need to see what is in these boxes. I need to see what's in these boxes. I can't wait. Oh my God. I was going to say to make it easier, we'll do the smaller one first, but I'm not actually sure that's going to make it easier. Maybe we do the bigger one first. But I want to do the smaller one first. We're going to rearrange attempt to at least. Now I need to get you in the phone stand. Okay. So I've managed to get the smaller one. Down should be good. God damn, that was heavy. And the cats are still going crazy. So many swishing tails and sideways walks. Parcel number one. So, what have we got in these? We have got loads of new releases. We have a couple of giveaway volumes and a couple of volumes that I've actually just been on the... Oh, Christ. <laughs> I have something sharp, you know, that was not a good idea. What was I saying? Mostly new releases, a couple of volumes that I've been on the hunt for and actually was so happy to find on Sci-Fi for a good price as well. Like, I've just been struggling to find them full stop. Right, have the cats calmed. Can we have a look? Ooh. Ooh. Exciting. Hopefully you can see good. I think you can see good. I don't know why I'm asking if you can see good. I can see you can see good. Okay, look at all this good packaging. I do like air bubble packaging. I want to put it down the sides as well. Okay. Oh, I already see one of the ones I was most excited for on top. You know, please. I know you seem to be excited too. I don't know what's wrong with them. Okay, now what is the best way to get into this? Oh, I have my sharp thing. No cats in the vicinity, correct? Right? Okay. Get a bit of tape. Actually, I think I'll just pull out this this bundle. So it looks like in here we've got eight or nine volumes i'm trying trying to not look at what they are here cats have a box why do they not seem interested in the box okay so again trying to not look because it's more fun that way on top first volume god we can't communicate 25 ah! oh my gosh like i only got like the last comey in my last sci-fi order which was a month ago let me tell you tablecloth I should have got one of those like stretchy table ones. It's just a bed sheet and the cats pull it goes everywhere. Anyway, I digress. Comey, Comey can't communicate 25. I only got volume 24 in my last sci-fi haul, which was a month ago. So having a Comey like a month apart is so absolutely wonderful. I'm so excited. Comey is like, since 23, I have 23 was so good. 
and it's just kept getting good. I, I love 24 as well. Mika, what are you doing? Mika, what are you doing? I can't wait. I can't wait. That is such a strong start to this very big haul. You guard Komi. Next we have Mission Yozakura Family 5. This is releasing so quickly. I am absolutely behind on reading this. I enjoyed what I've read so far. I've just not- I just I can't believe how quickly it's releasing. I'm definitely behind on some of my Viz like shonen stuff. It's a lot of what I've been binge reading the past few days actually. So oh dear. So that might be one where I try and binge a bunch. There's a cute little doggy on the cover. Look at that. Isn't that so cute? I really like these covers. It's so bright. Next we've got a cat. Oh, we have Remarried Empress 3. Oh my god, that's so exciting. So this is one of the Easy Press series that's being put out at the moment. This one is like, at first I was like, is it like a villainess sort of deal, Rooney? It's not. It's not an isekai either, but it's kind of just a high court drama, which I didn't realise was the sort of thing that I seem to really like, and then I read it. And yeah, this is the sort of thing I really like. I mean, there's so many easy press stuff that I've loved, like Villains of Destined to Die, Gently Wraith Beast, and then this one. Gosh, this is so exciting. And this was such a good price as well. This is the problem. I'd, sh I'd like tell you right now exactly what prices I paid post discount, but like I'm using my phone, so it's hard for me to do that. If I have the patience to, I'll put a price post discount on the screen somewhere. So that's post 10%, post using Kate Tins post using cake tins. Next we have Goodbye Airy, and this is I believe a one shot and I think it's by the same manga artist as Chainsaw Man. This one's had a lot of hype recently. I must say maybe it's a controversial opinion. I've not been too impressed with anything by this author yet. I have not caught up to date with Chainsaw Man. I'm kind of slightly putting it off because the hype worries me. I often find stuff like if it gets too overhyped I just don't tend to enjoy it as much, which I shouldn't care what other people think, but I, went, I feel like when you hear something so often, it's hard to not take it in. People like constantly being like, the series is amazing, the series is amazing. You Even if you say you don't care, it's hard to not take it in a bit. So that's why I've been putting off Chainsaw Man. I've read the other stuff by this manga artist that's been put out by Viz. And none of it's really grabbed me yet, so I am... Um, I don't know if I have high or low expectations for this one. Okay, next is a volume I already own. This is one of the giveaway volumes for East Kai Month. If you haven't entered this one yet, check out my favorite East Kai volumes series of all time. This is one that has been given away in that video. So yes, do it. And you could win this, how exciting. I'll put this to this side because it doesn't count. Next we have a plastic wrapped survival in another world with my mistress Oh, this is an isekai. This is like a Minecraft isekai where the guy's powers are kind of like Minecrafty, like even to the point that he can imagine himself holding down shift and he sprints sort of deal. It's very weird, but also random plastic wrap moments, smutty moments. I think of the many Minecraft themed isekai that I've read, which concerningly is above just one. I think there's three. I've read which are kind of Minecraft isekai. I think this one's the best one. I think this one does Minecraftiness the best. I don't think- is it the best story? Eh, maybe? But I think it does the Minecraft stuff the best. If you're interested in trying to read a Minecraft isekai, try this one. But it, beware, it's plastic wrapped with explicit scenes. Next we have- <gasps> Oh my god! Oh, we have Dr. Stone 26! This is the final volume of Dr. Stone! Oh my god, I love Dr. Stone. Loads and loads and loads, and I can't believe it's over. I have not been spoiled at all in the slightest by what happens. I am very confused, having read up to 25, how it's going to wrap up in one volume, but you bet this is going to be like the first volume I read after I film this video, because I've been reading Dr. Stone since like volume 4 or 5 came out many, many years, pre-Covid, pre-doing all of this manga social media, and I really, really like Dr. Stone, and I can't believe it's over, and I feel like I f it hits a lot harder when it's a series that I've been reading since before I started doing all the manga community stuff when it wraps up, so like Promised Neverland and Demon Slayer, and I'll feel the same when I get the last volume of Kaguya-sama. I don't know why, but they just hit different. I feel more sad when that happens, and this I'm very sad about. I can't believe... I remember picking up volume one in Forbidden Planet London in like 2018, 2017 
and I was like, oh, this looks neat. I need to make a three for two. Let's try it. And I had no idea what it was. Oh, I'm so happy to learn my one. <laughs> okay, let's move on. God damn, that's chunky. Wow. Oh my gosh, I did not expect that. That is chunky. Okay, next we have The Horizon, which is another Easy Press series. So it does look like it is black and right, white. I understand it's not the happiest of reads, maybe, which makes me a little nervous because I like not to read sad things because it makes me sad and I don't like to be sad. But there was a lot of good hype about it. So, okay. Yeah, I grabbed it. And again, good price on sci-fi. So I was like, let's, let's do this. Let's do this. Looks like it could be a quick read. I'll see. I'll see what it's like. I kind of want to do a catch up with all my easy press series because there are a few I'm now behind on like the world after the fall and tomb raider king so I might try and read it as part of that maybe oh damn there's the other volume I was most excited for one piece 103 this is another one where like <laughs> god damn god damn this is another one where I got 102 in my last sci-fi haul and now I've got 103 in this one it took me so long to get 102 and now I've got 103 Oh my gosh, like, I know there's lots of stuff about the cover being like spoilerish and stuff, but like I still don't know what it means. Like I don't understand. So excited to read this one though, because like I remember like multiple people IRL have said to me, just wait till you get to this chapter. And I think it's in this volume. Yes, it is. It is in this one. I can't wait. Th this and Dr. Stone. This and Dr. Stone are what I'll be reading straight after this. And the final volume in this parcel is... Though I am an inept villainess, tail the butterfly rat body swap in the Maiden Court 3. Oh my gosh. Seeing this on sci-fi made me so happy. It seems to just be really expensive nowadays. I don't really know why bigger Seven Seas volumes tend to just be more pricey for some reason. And I just can't bring myself to pay pricier prices. I know what I'm saying. I really, really like this series. It's not an isekai, even though it's got reincarnation in the name. Reincarnation doesn't necessarily mean isekai. It's just quite common. But in this one, she's kind of swapped. Wait, reincarnation? There isn't a reincarnation in the title. Why did I think there was reincarnation in the title? Never mind, ignore me. Anywho, so the villainess swaps the body with like the preferred princess in this court. And uh, the princess is actually quite sick and got a very sickly body. So the villainess is like basically bedridden but she's at least in favour, so she's quite happy. Whereas the original princess is now in the villainess body and she's not bedridden, so she's just really happy to have like a new lease on life. She's like more physically fit and able to do things and is just a lot happier and she's so nice and so kind. And of, because of story reasons, she can't tell anyone that the bodies have swapped, but she's so kind, everyone's kind of like, Something's up here anyway. And people are slowly starting to like her a bit. It, it reminds me a bit of like my villainess East Kai, where people are like, oh, the villainess is bad. And then because the villainess is a different person now and they're being nice, like actually starting to grow fond of them. And it's a bit kind of like this. Similar sort of vibes to it, which is why I like it. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, I can't wait. This is so awful. What do I read first? Okay, now the big box. How long is the big box going to take us? If that took us like 10, 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Let's move that out of the way. It's so big. How am I gonna? I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to handle this. This looks so tiny. It looks so pathetic. Can't even see. Can you see me cutting? You can. Just. Oh my gosh. I'm not moving my phone because it's like nicely placed. You know what, I think, I used to love, I used to think like many smaller parcels is more fun than a big parcel. I changed my mind. I think this massive parcel is amazing. Oh, smooth. Okay. Oh damn. So much wrapping. Oh. Oh, maybe we can use that to hide some of it so we can't see it all. <laughs> Is it wrong? I'm tearing up. Oh, I'm so wrong. It's just books, Caitlin. <laughs> okay. Eat. Oh my gosh, look what's on top there. That's 
right? Lady! So on top, if I whoop, pull it out correctly, we have, get out of the way, we have Skip Beat 48. Oh my gosh, look how nicely framed it is. It, this, this shot is just box. There is nothing but box. Oh, so much box. Oh my gosh, I just want to jump in. Okay, come. Uh, Skip Beat 48. Uh, because Liddy Moon has cursed me or something, I'm not quite sure what happened, but I have now started to collect Skip Beat and I am a very, very good way through actually being up to date with it. So I decided I should probably pick up the up to date volumes, the latest volume being 48. I think I'm missing like eight volumes before I'm up to date, which is insane considering how hard I thought this series was to collect. And like, I've paid about three for two price for all of them. I have not paid crazy prices at all. I really hope I don't need to for the last few that I'm missing. Damn, damn. Don't like how thin they're getting. And also look at them trying to squeeze 48 here on the spine. No. Okay, it doesn't really matter where I put this volume because you won't be able to see it, will you? Oh, you can, oh, you can just about make out the corner here. Hello, hello. Okay, sorry. Okay, next we have Cho Trojan. Trojan X. I'm not actually sure you pronounce that. Trojan X 2. Still not read my volume 1. It is in my TBR stack. Is this the one that's the same artist as Tokyo Ghoul? And I think there was a lot of hype for the volume 1 and then I kind of feel like it drifted. I've not really heard much since like the volume 1 came out. I don't know how it was, what people thought about it. Was it okay? Did you enjoy it? Was it not okay? I like we've got colours. We've got a red, now we've got a blue. And I like we've got a colour for the X. That makes me very happy. Very happy. Uh, next, oh, I know what this one is. Next we have Shangri-La Frontier Volume 1, which is the other volume for my giveaway Isekai month. So I had a whole bunch of volumes already, so I just needed Savior's Book Cafe and Shangri-La Frontier. So you, if you are interested in winning these copies, check out my Isekai month videos. It's going to remain open till mid-July. So 15th, 16th probably is when I'll draw winners. So I think just about when this video goes up, you'll be able to enter if you so choose. This one is part of my favourite Isekai series and this one is part of the video game Isekai video. Oh nice, they're face down so I can't quite tell what they are. Is this plastic wrapped? Oh this one's plastic wrapped. Oh we got Outbride Volume 4, a steamship title. I was gonna say, is it the most dubious steamship title? I think a lot of the steamship titles are quite dubious apart from like one, two maybe. But the thing is, I prefer the fantasy setting ones compared to the real life ones. The real life ones can get a bit dull and they're the ones that are less questionable. These are the ones that are most questionable. I just can't believe, like, this one's technically a shoujo, which just feels crazy to me. I don't know, like, I just assume shoujo targeted at young girls. This kind of smart just surprised me. But I also am not at all an expert in demographics in the slightest. Do not ask me, I do not know. I just want isekai and smut, basically. Haha! <laughs> What's wrong with me? Okay, next we have got... Oh, Vampire Dormitory 10. Now, is this the final volume? I don't think it's the final volume. I'm not sure. The last... Volume 9. There was a thing from the author in the back that seems to suggest that this might be the last one. I'm not too sure, though, flicking through the back of it. I tried to not spoil myself, but usually if it's the last one, it'll say, like, final volume on the back or something, or it'll say, like, the end or something at the back, and it didn't see that. So I'm guessing it's not, so I'm very confused. Maybe there's 11. I actually think I have 11 on pre-order, which is why I got really confused with the author's note in the last volume. Maybe there's one more and that's complete, I have no idea. I love the beginning of the series, and it definitely, from volume five, when the art kind of changed, fell off it a bit, which is a bit of a shame. It, we're almost close to wrapping it up. It's like it's like a a fun vampire trash. I still think it's better than Rosenblood. I don't think Rosenblood's very good. I stand by that. But I don't think this is amazing either. Sad. But it has very good colourful spines, so that gets bonus points. Next we have got Alice in Borderlands 6. Oh, ow, I kicked the camera in excitement. I'm so sorry about that. Alice in Borderlands 6. We are now going to be two thirds of the way through the series because I believe it is 18 volumes and these are omnibuses. So there'll be nine of these. So we're now two thirds. Yeah, I was trying to quickly do math. God damn. I can't do math unless I'm doing like three for two. Um, so yes, two thirds of the way through with this one. I really liked the ending of volume five. There was like a boat. Well, I was going to say it was a bonus story, but it was kind of, they sometimes do like 
one-shot chapters following another player in Borderland and I really like the one at the end of Volume 5 and I assume they're probably going to appear in the main series soonish. I hope so. I don't know, just I quite liked it quite a lot. There's a very, very dark pair on the cover of that. I also like the spines of parent lining up. I can see my set from over here and I can't wait to add this to the shelf, though I've just realised that that shelf looks quite full because it has also my Alice in the Country of volumes and that almost takes up the full shelf alongside these. Damn it. Okay, next. Oh, yes! We have Blue Lock 7. I do not understand why I have enjoyed Blue Lock so much, considering my dislike of football. And I understand as a Brit, as a Englishman, that football should be in my blood, but no. No, it is not for me. When you have been, like, made to play football in the cold and mud as a kid at school, you kind of go off it a lot. So. Yeah. But I really like Blue Lock. I think it's just because like it doesn't feel like I'm reading football. It feels like I'm reading a battle shonen. It's stupid powering up and the one plus one equals a hundred or whatever it was make you zero into one. I don't know. It's so, it feels so dumb and it's over the top and it's great. And if it turns out that most sports manga is like this one, I'm so excited to read Haiku and Kuroko's Basketball and uh, what other sports one do I got? Slam Dunk. I hope they're all this over the top and dumb. And also, I'm so happy that Blue Lock has like 18, 19 volumes plus maybe in Japan. So that I'm like, nowhere. I've got loads left. I've got loads. I don't have to worry about it ending anytime soon. And we've got these nice vibrant covers. I was a bit worried with volume five where we've got that black cover. I was like, what has happened? We've got all these neon colors, like properly bright colors. And then we got black. I'm like, what? Why would you do this? And then we're back to bright colors and I'm very happy. <sighs> need to take a breathe. Uh, nope, we need to keep going to Mango. We're not taking a breather. Next we have The Dragon's Betrothed 2. I'm just a bit disappointed with volume one of this, I'll be honest, because uh, there was no smut and it was plastic wrapped. So I was like, if it's plastic wrapped, where's the smut? I have been assured, I think, by someone in the Discord that Volume 2 does have smut. I, if I, if it doesn't, I'm going to go in and get very sad, very mad. I did originally pre-order Volume 1 thinking it was an isekai just because of the way the title was, and then it turns out, no, it's not really, it's just a fantasy BL. <laughs> well, it's like fantasy real life BL. I hope it has a lot of drama because Otherworld's being counter bookkeeper has ruined me for BL. There, Will there ever be a more perfect BL for me than Bean Counter? I just love it so much. God damn. Next we have got, ooh, Sakamoto Days 8. I can't believe I'm behind on Sakamoto Days as well. This, it seems to also be coming out really, really quick and I've just not kept up to date with it. There's a couple of them and it makes me so sad. Sakamoto Days definitely feels like it's a fan favorite at the moment. And I'm not surprised, it's great fun. There is no reason I have not gotten up to date with it. I think I've read up to five maybe. So I've got three volumes to read now. I do think series like this work better binging a few at a time, especially when you've got like big battle or action sequences. You can get a bit lost on who was who and what was happening. Let's pretend I did it on purpose. Yeah, let's actually pretend I did it on purpose. I have waited to accumulate a few of these and then I can binge them. Ha ha ha. Oh look, yellow cover. I like that. I just realised we've done so little on this and I was like, we're working our way down, but there's still this side. Ah! God damn, I feel so bad for the person at the Sci-Fi Warehouse who packed this order. Also the delivery driver who carried this order to my doorstep. Basically, I'm just sorry. I'm so sorry, but thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, next we have World's End Harem Fantasia 9. It looks like a sticker, but it's on the plastic wrap, so meh. I am behind on reading this series. It's definitely, I feel, not as good as the main series. And I was actually going to, but I do need to get back up to date with it. Ben's been pushing me to read it because he wants to read it. And I've said there are some series that he's not allowed to read ahead of me and this was one of them. <laughs> I'm behind on the main series as well. I'm missing one volume of the main series and that is volume nine. And I was actually gonna buy it off Sci-Fi, but I don't think they have it listed anymore. I don't know what it is about Worlds and Tower in volume nine that's so hard to find. I don't, but it is, it is hard to find. And then when I find it, it's like 13 pounds. Like, please, no. <sighs> Otherwise I would also be up to date on the main series because I have also been collecting as they've come out since as well. But I would like to get up to them in the main series as well as this one. Where I'm trying to not look so I can't see what anything is still. Ooh, Star Wars, The High Republic, The Edge of Balance, Precedent. And I think this might be a one shot. 
massive, massive Star Wars fan, love Star Wars. And Ben's actually been reading the High Republic novels recently, so he was very excited with Edge of Balance and when they announced this one. I really hope they do so much more High Republic, like, stuff. TV show was one of them set during the old the high, was it the High Republic or the Old Republic? I can't remember. I used to play a lot of the PC Star Wars games when I was a kid. It's like Knights of the Old Republic is one I remember playing when I was much much younger. I'm not that old. Much younger with my dad, and also it's like one of Ben's favorite games ever. So I have had the privilege, I suppose, of watching Ben start that game many many times. Especially Knights of the Old Republic 2, which is his favourite game. I might have to let Ben read this one ahead of me, just because I don't think I'll get to it soon, and he's been very excited for this one. You know, I do. I just realised that the spine is like in the same colour and like design as um, Edge of Balance. As in, so it's called Edge of Balance, so the other one's just called Edge of Balance. Is it High Reason? I can't remember. Oh no, I'm gonna stop talking. Next we have got... Zombed 100 Volume... Oh! God damn, that is bright. What a bright pink. Oh, my eyes are burning in such a good way. Psalm 100. This had an anime announcement or recently, or the anime is coming soon. I wasn't too clear, but there were voice actors and lots of promo at Anime Expo. I know that. I have mixed feelings on this series, not necessarily talking about like the story itself, but I have a weird issue with zombies. I'm not a big fan of zombies. And you're like, why did you pick the series up? Because it's got rainbow spines, is what I reply. And I couldn't help myself. Is Yeah, that's the truth. So there are actually a few other series that I'm unlikely to pick up because they have quite a heavy zombie theme and the spines are boring, so I don't care. Also, also, I'm in the middle of doing my massive manga reorganization and I was really sad because I had a, a series from every letter of the alphabet apart from Z. And I am now going to include this one, so now my Ranga reorganization video, I'll have a letter from every letter of the alphabet, and that makes me very, very happy. That's so bright, that is like tubby custard pink. I'm gonna bet some of you were too young to know what that means, I'm gonna cry. Okay, we have got. Ooh, Tear Moon Empire 1. Now, this has a light novel and when the light novel was announced I thought it was actually a manga and I got very excited because I'd heard lots of people say good things about it and then was very sad. And then they said they were also doing a manga of it and I got extra happy again, woohoo! So it is not an isekai I believe, but I believe it's like a, she goes back in time to the body of her younger self to be able to put things right for things that go wrong. And I love the sort of things, I love the knowing what's going to happen, you try and write them, De La Rooney. Oh, so happy. It is also published by J Novel Club, they don't publish too much manga themselves, but they have published this one. Ha <laughs> ha! So happy! It's nice and dense. Oh, we, we've done a little nugget. I can see some more manga. <laughs> I, uh, well, I can see one of them. Come on. Rip it, rip it, rip it, rip it, rip it, rip it. It's, this one's chunky, so I'll pull this one out. Next we have Nan. Oh, that is heavy. <laughs> Nano Karu 2. It's probably fine to show. Yeah, that's fine to show. It's not plaster up. And this is a Faku volume, but also, like, I think a lot of people were surprised it was published under the Faku imprint considering there isn't anything actually explicit as part of it. It's got it's got explicit themes, but I don't think you see anything explicit is what I've been told. These are three in ones as well. I I didn't realize Faku did three in ones. You know, maybe I shouldn't open it. <laughs> maybe I shouldn't open it just cuz it's not explicit doesn't mean it's I can show it. But yeah, these are heavy. These are, these are like, these are on the, the line for like, if you need to deck someone and you need to pick a volume to deck someone with, this is like up there. Cause I don't have any hard, like big hardcover editions of stuff. So this one's probably one of those. Oh gosh, heavy. I stand by that Faku is like some of the better print publishers out there. It's like, it's such good quality and you get like a sleeve and the paper just feels really good. I stand by it. I assume it's because they need to make sure it can deal with whatever people throw at it. Look. Oh no, I saw a few spoilers, so we're gonna do this pile. Next we have, oh, that's so cute. 
Oh, that's so adorable. That feels really nice. Next we have Spider-Man Fake Red. So it looks like Viz are doing a whole bunch of manga stuff in um, partnership with Marvel. I believe there's a Wolverine one as well. And this is a nice little, it's like a smaller sized Viz, but it's kind of chunky. You don't tend to get them that chunky and that small, especially from Viz. This feels really nice. I like that. I haven't even opened it. I assume it's to do with Spider-Man, but beyond that, I don't know. I was just trying to pick up some of Viz's newer stuff, and this was one of them. I don't think I actually picked up the Wolverine one. That might be out. Also, is that one Viz? I can't remember. I'm so terrible at, like, inf <laughs> informative stuff. It's just like, ooh, Mango, I'm happy. Next we got... Oh, here we got Freerin Volume 8. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. This has an anime coming out in October, and we do plan on doing a watch party for episode one in the server. So if you're interested in joining the Discord server, find a link down below. We're going to do loads of episode one watch parties. I've put a whole bunch into the events list, and we're going to try and do some more as well. Very exciting. Anyway... I think I've said I've said before, but I definitely found that at the beginning of the series, I wasn't enjoying it too much, just because I went in expecting one thing and it wasn't that, and I was a bit disappointed. But the more I've read, the more I've enjoyed it. In fact, I really enjoyed like the exam arc, which I know a lot of people don't. A lot of people don't like exam arcs. Well, I do. I like exam arcs. Meh. <laughs> I believe the series actually went on hiatus in Japan. I'm not sure if it's come off it, so I don't think we're gonna get too many more volumes before we get a break or they'll spread them out. I have no idea. I think 10 might have come out in Japan. Maybe? Maybe? I love the cover. I think that might be my favourite cover yet. I love the gradient. Purple to orange sunset. Yes. My stacks are getting a bit unwieldy. Next we have eccentric Doctor of the Moonlight King. Never look, we got a nice different colourful spider. Oh, I hoped, I hoped we would get different colours and we did get different colours. We had a nice maroon, a burgundy, a dark red, whatever you call it, for volume one. And now we got this like deep forest green. It's not quite that. Oh yes, that is, that is a good colour. That is a good, good colour, that like tealy, greeny bluey colour. Oh, it's a good colour. This definitely has veils of like Apothecary Diaries. If you're into that sort of thing, there's a good chance you might enjoy this. There's just a lot more hunky men in this one. Now that I don't know if that will drive you towards the series or away from the series, but it's generally the, the feel I've had from volume one so far. So I can't wait to read volume two. Ha ha ha. Time to not look again. Next we have a sentence of a book where I bought two volume Six. <laughs> Six. And I was like, what number does that say? Six. <sighs> I think I was spoiled. I got like three volumes of volume t chapter two quite quickly, and then it's been a while since I had a volume. Ah, oh, this is such a good, good isekai. This was in my top ten isekai series ever. It's just so good and lighthearted and nice, and I kind of just completely understand her plight of, I want to read books really badly. I really, really want to read books. Where are the books? I really hope it doesn't take too long for part... Oh my gosh, the numbers confuse me. Part 2, Volume 7, damn it. Next we have Eminence in Shadow 4, and this is one of the volumes that I picked up that isn't a new release, and it's one that I have been struggling to find for a decent price. I read Volume 1 as part of East Kai Month, and I adored it. I loved it so much. It's great, and I want to get up to date with it, except I was missing a couple of volumes, so I think there is another one in here somewhere. Fingers crossed. I, yeah, can't wait. It's very thin though, so definitely, definitely didn't want to be paying too much of a crazy price for it if I could. Oh, next we have Ladies on Top Volume 3, and it's not plastic wrapped, which slightly surprises me. Maybe there's no smut in it. To be fair, of all the ones I've read so far, Volume 1 of this has been the most tame of the lot. Actually, my Volume 2 should be in here as well. Um, so previously, I have been pre-ordering a lot of stuff from Forbidden Planet Online, like regular Forbidden Planet, not Forbidden Planet International. And actually, a lot of the prices are cheaper on Sci-Fi, so I've been moving my orders across, including Ladies on Top 2 and 3. And I think with this order, I should now be back up to date with the Steamship line. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. And then I can read them together. Quite excited. We have got a plastic wrapped. We have got a Baku. Ah, dear. Where are my post its It's a slight negative of uh, not looking at what I'm pulling out before I talk about it. Just hey ho. 
just means I have to get creative with my blurring. And I can't show you the book. I can't show you the spine. We have got Hot Honey Ecstasy. Yeah, there you go. Um, don't have anything to say about it other than look, Faku. I think it might actually be a new-ish Faku. I was perusing their website uh, yesterday and I noticed that they had a bunch of other newish release Faku and I'm tempted to do an order of my Faku volumes. I appreciate them not putting it straight on top this time. That was definitely a oh shit moment when I unboxed the last one. <laughs> um, but I will have blurred this hopefully. Hee 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 hee. Oh no, I can't show you stuff. I need to keep almost flashing you nipples. I'm so sorry. Next, we have In Zero 23. Woohoo! I'm actually behind on reading this because I got like two, three volumes last month. I think I've read up to volume 20. So I've got 21, 22, and 23 to read. Gosh, gosh darn it. Gosh, gosh, gosh. There was a whole big thing in 20 and like it kind of caught me unawares and then just loads. I started getting them out of order because again, as I'd said, I had some pre-orders with Vim Planet and they weren't getting stock in order, I think, or had I not pre-ordered one of them? I can't remember. It might have been my fault. Never mind. But Ben really likes reading this series, so he keeps getting on my case to stay up to date with this. Maybe I read all three volumes and I'm like, hey, there you go, Ben, stop complaining at me. Bioforce 33. I don't have much to say about this one other than it was another one I had on pre-order on Forbidden Planet and any of the Forbidden Planet orders that I cancelled, I did try to order as many as I could on sci so I didn't have to remove them from my spreadsheet <laughs> is basically the reason. So this was one of them. I'm not up to date with Fireforce at all. I'm missing a few earlier ones. I think this might be the latest one. I don't think it's the last one. I think 34 is going to be the last one, but I am staying up to date because I really struggle to find some of the middle volumes. I'm a bit concerned. I'm missing... Can I see them from here? I'm missing like five volumes now from up to date. Oh dear, what have I done? Next we have got... Oh, I hated the title on this. It just sounded so dumb. What he who doesn't believe in fate says. Is that actually the title? What he who doesn't believe in fate says? That What is that? What is that just confuses my brain. I can't understand what is that trying to say. This seems to have lots of good feedback from it across Instagram and Twitter from what I've seen. So I'm happy to jump in even though the title confuses my brain. I don't know anything about it though. I can't say anything about it. Ooh, it looks like a, like a romance destiny thing. Oh, that looks neat. Okay. Um, if I enjoy it, I'll be less mad at the title. I think, I think that's what I'm going to go for. I was going to say, I think we're at the bottom of this side. We're not at the bottom of this side. Next, we have something's wrong with us. 15. Now, is this the final vol- that's, ch that's a chunky volume. Why is this volume so chunky? I don't know if 15's the final one or there is another one. Let's have a flick through the back without spoiling the ending. Now there is definitely another volume at the back it says preview of the next volume and then I stopped looking at it. So there is definitely another volume but I, I wonder if like a lot of wrap up happens in this one and that's why it's so thick. Oh, it's so thick! Is this to make up some of the earlier ones that are really really thin? Definitely a series where I was not fussed by the first half and enjoyed the second arc way 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 more. So I, I'm actually really looking forward to reading this volume because I can I want to see I want to see that some of the wrap up some of the wrap up that we're getting ah okay I can't believe I've been recording for 45 minutes now and I've still not touched this side <laughs> oh my god Ben's gonna be like so when are we eating tea like, yeah another two hours bear with me okay next we have oh it's Tokyo Pop I hadn't realized. At 30, I realised I had no gender. Life lessons from a 50 year old after two decades of self-discovery. And I think this is a one shot. I think what I find reading, I really enjoy reading series like this because I like, I like seeing, I like seeing other points of view and other people's like what they've gone through and what they've experienced, especially in ways that I won't experience, if that makes sense. How can I- I want to be able to learn and understand people, even if they're not like me, so I can help them when I can, if that makes sense. I, I don't know how to phrase it without putting my foot in my mouth. I just want to be kind, basically, and help understand people. Oh my god, there's still like three, four on each side. Damn, 
How many manga did I buy? Who let me buy this much manga? Benjamin. Okay, next we have who? Ooh, ooh. Who wants to marry a billionaire? Five. This is such a fun series. It is a plastic wrapped, as you can see, murder mystery. It's great. It's really good. It's a, not a very long series, I believe. I think it's actually complete in Japan, but not yet complete over here. We've also got Rainbow Spines, and who doesn't love a Rainbow Spine? I'm excited. I'm excited. This is just getting awful. What do I read next? Like, I'm gonna end up keep pulling out my favorite series. <gasps> oh, damn! This is one of my favorite series. So much spider, so what? 12. This is one of my favorite Iskai and one of my favorite series. I love Soma Spider, so what? I am very mad at myself that I put off reading it for so long because it had Spider in the title and I'm not keen on spiders. This is a good Iskai. The plot has heavily changed direction from about volume 10. So I'm interested to see how it's going to keep going. Also, this doesn't release very often at all. I think it's like a volume a year, maybe a volume every like nine months. Maybe? It's not too often. I can't remember when I read volume 11. I'm so excited. Damn it. Damn it. Okay. Next we got, what have we got? Oh, we got Sh Sh Shangri-La Frontier 6. So like, this is the latest volume. I, I've got volume five in my basket. I'm part way, no, I'm not part way through reading it. That was gonna be my next read. <sighs> Damn it, and I'm too behind. I'm so behind. This is such a good Iskai. I mean, it's so good that I decided to give a volume away for Iskai month. So yes, do check out that video if you're interested in a free copy, as long as it's before mid-July, open internationally and all that. This is just, uh, I love video game stat heavy isekai, and I've just realized who that character is. I didn't like this character to begin with, but they've grown on me. Next we have, damn, chunky volume. We are getting all the chunky volumes today. <laughs> Oh, we have Splendid Work of a Monster Maid 5. This is an amazing series. It's gorgeous. The story is fun. And did I mention the art is gorgeous? It's probably up there in my like top art styles with like Witch Atelier. I love the twinkly black lineness. I just, it's so so pretty. This is 100% a series I would recommend. It's a yen press series. It's a bigger yen press, so sometimes can be a little pricey, but I still recommend it. This was actually really reasonably priced on sci-fi, so definitely, definitely go check it out. It's so thick. Oh, so thick. It's thick, thick, thick. This might be the final volume on this side. No, it's not. I tell a lie. There's two more volumes. I can't see. We have Unnamed Memory three. This is a fantasy series where a guy has been cursed and this witch comes to stay with him to like, he's trying to convince her to marry him and she's like, I'll come and stay with you and see what I think. And it's just really fun. Like there's lots of little mysteries they kind of solve together around the town and like fantasy magic and stuff. And there's some bigger deal Rooney that's happening and they're trying to like start to uncover it. And I've just really enjoyed it. Bit disappointed that all the spines are yellow because the light novel alternates between purple and yellow, but the manga is all yellow. Though I don't have that many yellow stuff in my collections. I'm also kind of thankful to have a bunch of yellow. I'm two minds. I'm in two minds. Okay, I think I think this is actually the last volume on this side. Then I might have to take a short break. Yes, 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 <laughs> yes. <laughs> we have quality assurance in another world. Two. Oh, and we've got different coloured spines. Oh, we've got different coloured spines. Damn it, yes. Ah, uh, as again, I talk way better about this in my favourite East Kai video because this made my top ten favourite East Kai because I too worked in quality assurance for quite a while and I still specialise in quality assurance as a QA engineer. Ah, oh, damn it. And this just like it was a manga written for me. If there was some more smut in it. I would be concerned that it was like, here's your perfect sort of manga, Caitlin. Or a villainess, if there's a villainess in there. Quality assurance villainess in another world with a demon knight. Oh, damn it. Don't, don't, don't dream, Caitlin. <laughs> I love volume one so much. Like, I was trying to convince the other QA engineers that I work with to try this. Even the ones that just don't read manga or watch anime or anything. I was telling them, you need to try and read this just because you'll understand so many things. You'll relate to it. Oh, 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 oh. 
so happy with this. Oh, what good, I've got such a amount of manga to the side. What a way to wrap up half the box. And we still got all this to go through, but I'm gonna take a short break down many bottles of water and let my phone cool down and then we shall return. And you won't notice a thing, ha <laughs> ha. And we're back. Ben came down to be like, are you okay? Like, you've been recording a while. And I'm like, yeah, 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 there's just a lot of manga. I bought a lot of manga, Ben. He was like, yes, you did. <laughs> so we started to think about what else did I order that's not in the stack? But he's not like gone through the stacks yet, so he doesn't know what I've already unboxed. I think I remember a few now, because I mean, there's a few that I've said, like, I expect there to be another volume in here. And I'm hoping those are in there, but I still only like four or five volumes. And there's definitely way more than four or five volumes here. I think there must be about 30 left, maybe, I'd guess. So let's uh, move move the hidden hidden foliage and get back to it uh, there is oh come on let me come on oh. okay i do recognize i saw the title on the side of this one we have oh, other world exploring the dungeon too i actually read volume one only a few days ago at the tail end of east climb month I did quite enjoy it. It vaguely reminded me a bit of Is It Wrong to Pick Up Girls in the Dungeon? With the whole, like, you kind of pledge allegiance to a deity or something and they kind of give you, like, their blessing, which results in some form of abilities, basically. I quite enjoyed it and I also really enjoyed the, like, cat. There was a cat in it who doesn't like having a cat. That was nice. This also feels a lot chunkier than the first volume, which is wonderful. Wonderful. Let's have lots of chunky volumes. Next we have got... Yes! 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 This is the one I was really, really hoping for. This is the one that, like, was the first one into my basket for this order. Cross-dressing villainous Cecilia Sylvie for... Damn, I gave volume 3 a 10 out of 10. I love volume 3 and I was like, I can't wait for volume 4. The volume 4 is the start of a new arc and I hope the new arc's gonna be as good as the last arc because I really, really love the last arc, especially the ending with the whole... Spoilers. Anywho, Villainess, East Kai. So happy. I'm so happy. I hope we get more interactions with this guy who has like been introduced as like a new root from the game. Also, I love the heroine in this so much. Like normally the heroines annoy me for a variety of reasons. I think they're meant to often, but not in this one. Spoilers. Spoilers. Damn it. Read this one. Anywho, next we have Essence of Being a Muse volume. One, this is a new release from Yen Press, and I've seen... Actually, I was gonna say, have I seen positive things? I'm not sure I've actually seen much of anything about this one. I'm trying to remember. This one was a little pricier, as again, Yen Press bigger volumes tend to be. Oh my god, I thought she was, like, laughing. She's crying. She's crying on the cover. Why is she sad? Is it sad? Please don't be a sad manga. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Ooh, okay, next we have Daughter of the Emperor... Four? Four? Yeah. Daughter of the Emperor. Four. I hope she ages up a lot faster than she has been. At least she's not a baby anymore and at least she can talk. There is actually a fairly similar series called Who Made Me a Princess or something along those lines, which actually is a very similar plot and I think I enjoyed more than this one. It's way more colourful and I think the art style is nicer. As this one I feel can be quite beige-ish. I say we go, we do see a load of colour, but I do feel like this is like generally can be quite beige -ish, whereas at least the other one was like really bright and colourful and I love bright and colourful so much, but I also do love that we've got nice colourful spines, we've got a purple, what else have we got can I see from here, we've got a brown, a pink, a blue, now we've got a purple, woohoo, I hope we get green next, I hope we get green next. Next we have got Re Zero Chapter 4 Volume six this was another pre-order that i moved over from forbidden planet i am not up to date with the series i am missing the last volume from part three actually i might be missing another volume from part three as well and the volumes two and three of part four but ben started reading the manga as well so he's a bit keen to try and get up to date so i'm a bit more on the hunt for series that we're both reading generally but then he was like, maybe I'll just watch the anime instead. I'm like, no, 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 help me track down the manga and then you can pay for some of <laughs> I do believe this is the most recent release for the series in manga format. But goddamn, the light novel is so, so far ahead. I wonder how many manga volumes we're going to have to try and catch up. I wonder if the manga will get cancelled or stop before it hits the end. It's not often that a manga adaptation of an isekai covers the whole thing. Though I think 
not many isekai are like actually complete there aren't too many <laughs> so it's hard to like give an example next we have seventh time loop the villainess enjoys a carefree life married to her worst enemy three this is another one that isn't an isekai because she's not in a new world she's kind of reincarnated to the same point in the same world so she has like past memories from different time loops and each time loop she has kind of lived a different life she's followed a different profession and learnt different things and this is on the seventh one and she decided i'm just gonna chill i'm gonna have, have a calm time basically the plot of it but it's also a light novel this is a fun read it doesn't release too often i really really like volume two so i'm really excited to get into volume three <laughs> next we have the magical revolution reincarnated magical revolution of the reincarnated princess and the genius young lady four and i realized after i ordered this i actually don't have volume three either so i'm gonna try and throw that into my next sci-fi order i think it is an iskai it is a gl iskai and there aren't too many of those because i was trying to pull some together to film a pride iskai video and then didn't feel i could find enough and then ended up not filming it I might still try and film one later on, I'm undecided at the moment, but this was going to be one of the ones I included. It's a fun read and also I love the title so much. Next we have... Damn! Another thick boy! <laughs> this is so amazing! The Wandering Witch. The Wandering Witch, The Journey of Elena 4. Okay, now this series does not release volumes very often because I know Ben got me one to three for Christmas in... 2021 i want to say and we're now in june 2023 and i think volume 3 had already been out a while so i assume this is like a couple of years now there is a light novel and the light novel is like quite far ahead so i assume it's just um not too frequent manga which is fine i really really enjoyed what i've read so far and i was quite bummed to see it was only only had so many volumes out so i kind of didn't read my volume 3 to hold off so I'm hoping to read volume 3 and volume 4 together, but also we're going to try and do a Witchtober in the Discord where we read loads of witchy series. Actually, I might hold off on reading them until then. My manga stack is getting a bit precarious. Next we have, oh dear, trying to not look, Yunnan Haunted Hot Springs 24. Is this the final volume? It is the final volume! Damn! So this is a another pre-order that I moved from Forbidden Planet. I am missing quite a few volumes in the series, mostly in the early teens, I want to say. I think I'm missing like six or seven volumes before I'm up to date. And yeah, But I have been ordering them if I see them for a good price and yeah, damn, complete. I remember ordering, picking up volume one again like many, many years ago. I want to say even like 20... 16 maybe 2017 it was a long time ago i might have still be at university ah oh, let's not pretend that was a long time ago damn it's complete that's crazy it's crazy i can't believe it next we have got oh spoilers his majesty the demon king's housekeeper four i haven't i haven't read my volume three yet damn considering i was going to try and read so much is kind june i didn't read as much as i hoped i would but I am planning on reading loads of stuff this month because I am mostly caught up with everything. I'm very excited. Besides needing to edit this video and get this up next week. Otherwise, I've got time to read for once and I'm very happy. I was unsure with volume one of this, but I did enjoy it more by the time I got to volume two. I did enjoy the whole cleaning aspect. I love cleaning myself. It's so much fun. It's so therapeutic. So seeing all the different like methods of them cleaning stuff, it's just really nice to read. I swear this one's thicker than the others, but maybe I'm just, I'm like, thick blind or something. I don't know. Maybe I'm just thick. <laughs> oh no, why? No, no. Next we'll do this one, which I saw on the camera, which is the NPCs in this village game. The NPCs in this village sim game must be real for. This one's weird. Like, this guy's playing this game and is acting as like, God to this village and is looking after them but it all feels a little too real um, but it's like because he's like actually throwing himself into it and caring for these villagers it's turning him into a better person so I kind of like it but it's like weird like is it an isekai is it not an isekai is it real or is it not because like the villagers like make offerings to the god 
and he gets them in the post. It's, mm, it's weird. It's so weird. I have so many questions. I think the light novel's actually complete at three volumes, so we should at least get a resolution. I don't think Ben's finished reading it though, so I can't bug him any questions or anything. I have to just wait for the manga, which is very slow releasing. Next we got, oh, it's plastic wrapped. It's plastic wrapped. It's Yakuza Lover 9. Okay, volume eight ended up on a cliffhanger and I was a bit annoyed. So very happy to have volume nine. I do quite like this color. I wish it was a bit brighter. It's like a, is it a duck shell blue? Is that duck shell blue? I don't think it is. So I think with this volume, we've kind of entered the final arc from my understanding, which I'm kind of glad about because I definitely feel like the series has started to dip off a bit for me. I started to struggle with some of the interactions between the main characters being as over the top as they are, but I loved the big drama moments which definitely happened at the end of volume 8. There were just other parts of volume 8 where I just couldn't take it seriously in the slightest whatsoever. I actually talked a whole bunch about it in my March reading log, I think, if you're interested in hearing what I had to say. I think I am glad that it's time to wrap up. At least they've given us a rainbow. Got another plastic wrapped. Oh, we got Cull Girl in Another World. Seven, ha ha ha. This is like such a, it's a series when you're like, oh, such a fun read. It's like kind of wholesome and it's like, what? Call Girl in Another World? How's Call Girl in Another World a wholesome read? You gotta trust me, it kind of is. I also think it might be complete in Japan, which kind of makes me sad because it's a fun, wholesome read. At least we've also got colorful spines for this one as well. Trying to not. Ooh, we got Abandoned Empress five so look at oh my god look at that hollow on that cover that is so pretty i hear such like negative things about the series and it kind of annoys me because like when i started reading it i was like i kind of like it someone spoiled what happened towards the end because like oh you shouldn't like it because of this and i'm like why would you why would you do that to someone why would you spoil it like that because th th you think their opinion is based on something they didn't know yet. Well, that's the point of reading the series. Like your opinion will change. Oh, well, you might not want to pick it up if you knew. Uh, not me, not me. I will continue picking it up absolutely regardless. <laughs> absolutely regardless. Do not tell me any sort of spoilers in the slightest. I don't wanna know. Don't wanna know, don't care. In the slightest, don't wanna know. I have been enjoying what I have read so far. It's fun, it's bright, it's colorful. And I love the hollow. It's so pretty. So pretty. I think, oh, I think we've got like one more volume in whatever this is, and then we've got another parcel, and that might be it actually. Yeah, that might be it. Oh, we have Dragonite's Beloved Five, look at the one I'm behind on. Uh -huh. I don't buy manga to read, I buy manga for the clout. No, that's not true. I do intend to read it. I've just not been able to do much reading the past couple of months because I've been doing other stuff. We've been house renovations, doing work, trying to get ahead of my videos. <laughs> And I've just not been reading as much. Oh, I've been playing Zelda as well. Video games, video games taking up time as well. Very important. But I want to get more into reading it. In fact, I read like six volumes yesterday and I had such good time. And I think having all this to read, I'm so excited to read so much of this. I can't wait. But yes, anyway, behind on this, but I've been enjoying it quite a lot. Seven Seas. It feels like heavy. It's like really clean white paper. Have very heavy volumes. I like that it's fantasy drama with some romance. That's like my kind of thing. That's what I want. That's what I want. Okay, this mound is just getting a bit too dangerous now. What else have we got? We can't have too much more. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> bookmarks. We have two bookmarks. We have two bookmarks. We have the werewolf and the alien. Ooh, I think my favorite is the, um, the UFO kitty. That's my favorite bookmark, definitely. Okay, I think I know what this one is. It is loves in Love's Insight 2. I haven't read my volume 1 yet, but I, had, I did go on a bit of a binge of catching up with my viz, as I've said before, and volume 1 of this is in my basket, good to go. It might have to be put off a little bit now until I have read some of my glorious stack from today, like some of the villainess and the isekai and the, 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 yeah, yeah. I am looking forward to reading this. This has had good reviews from what I've seen so far. I have high hopes. Oh, next we have Requiem of the Rose King 17. And I, yes, this is the final volume in the series. I am missing early volumes, so I cannot read it yet. I am missing volume three. 
and a few other volumes in between. I think I am up to date from like volume 12, but yeah, I'm missing I think three or four volumes from early on in the series, so I can't read it yet. But it is one that I really, really badly want to read if for a few reasons, such as Himika absolutely loves it and raves about it, and also it's The War of the Roses and me being in Yorkshire is one of the houses from The War of the Roses, so I feel like I almost need to read it as part of my cultural heritage and all that. I'm sure it's very historically accurate. Also, I think it's quite thick. I'm just I'm thick blind, thick blind. Okay, next we have Ayashimon 2. Now this series I actually think is complete at three volumes. I don't know if it got cancelled. It's also the same manga artist as Hell's Paradise. And so far, I think from reading volume one, I think I already kind of prefer it to Hell's Paradise. I I was definitely one of the people who like didn't get the hype with Hell's Paradise. Not that I think it's bad, it just I didn't get the hype. I think I've enjoyed the setting of this series more, so to learn that it's only three volumes kind of makes me sad. Like, what happened? Wait, is it three volumes? Am I horrendously wrong? I hope I'm not horrendously wrong. Next we got a Plastic Wrapped. Why is this plastic? Oh, it's Sublime. Is it Sublime? I didn't know it's Sublime. We have Old Fashioned Cupcake, and I love the word, saying the word cupcake, so I decided to pick it up. <laughs> um, it looks really cute. Really, really cute. Is it a one shot? I think it might be a one shot. So I have said previously that like I think a lot of the BL I've read just hasn't really snagged me because a lot of it's too like real world setting, too serious. But that's not to say I don't enjoy it, just none of them have grabbed me quite the way that Bean Counter did. I think in terms of like BL that I have read that haven't been fantasy themed, I think uh, Confessions of a Shy Baker's definitely been one I really liked because it just was super cute and I hope because it's to do with baking this has a similar theme and I'll also similarly find it quite cute is my hope. Also it is thick, it is thick. The BL is thick. Okay next we have got a Nisei Press, we have Tomb Raider King. I am very sad to not be up to date with Tomb Raider King because I've read a few reviews and it sounds really really good. Once again got for a great price on sci-fi at very happy. It's so heavy like my arm I feel like it's drooping as I'm holding it like too heavy. Also my arms are starting to die from just like oh carrying all this manga. Oh no too heavy for me. Okay the stack to the side of the box is now taller than the box and is very close to hitting my microphone and I need to stop kicking the mic stand. Next we have got something that's stuck. Oh, it is Drifting Dragons 13 and I think they might actually also have 14 on their site. I just need to check and maybe order it. This also was a really great price. I think the last time I bought a few volumes in store they were 12 99 or were they 13 99 Oh no, I think they were 12 99 So in a 3 for 2 that makes it about £8 something and I definitely paid less than £8 a volume for these. Look at that cover and that spine. It is so so pretty. I'm about halfway through the volumes that I've got for this. I just love seeing food being cooked and it's just it's so painful that they're cooking dragon meat which isn't something I can necessarily <laughs> eat. I got like they've got recipes and it's like do this with dragon meat and I'm like okay cool where do I get dragon meat? Oh how dare you! But it's so good it's so pretty it's so pretty I do love reading it it's actually one of the series I feel like I've put in, I've been putting off reading just because I've really enjoyed it and I wanted to keep some to read, which is really dumb, I know, but I've done it in quite a few series, so I need to stop doing that and just read the ones I enjoy a lot. Of course, deck. Okay, next we got... Oh, we got Orient 15. Gosh, goodness me, I am definitely behind on reading my volumes, but I do absolutely think this is a series where you want to binge it because like fights acro happen across volumes and you forget who's who smacking who whose sword was that so I don't think I could read Orient one at a time so I don't I heard that actually Orient is entering its final arc so I'm wondering if maybe I just wait now until it's complete and then I binge it because I, I definitely enjoyed it so much more reading like five volumes in one evening than just one at a time. Biggest pet peeve is all the spines are red. Why couldn't they do what Magi did? Please? Next we've got an isekai! We've got an isekai! Handyman Saito in Another World Volume 1! Aha! Uh -huh. Yes! Yes! Isekai! Oh, new release isekai. This is another one I moved from my Planet pre-orders. I actually think I have a few more I need to 
move just thinking about it. I obviously don't know anything about this, but I ordered it because it is an isekai. It is yen press, it is matte, it feels good. Can't wait. Next we have got Insomniacs After School 2. That is so pretty. That is such a pretty cover. Wow. Volume 1 is in my basket as part of me trying to catch up with Viz, so I think I'll try and read 1 and 2 together. I hear it's actually about like astronomy, which I, I, I mean, if I didn't go into computer science, my plan was to do an astronomy or astrophysics degree, genuinely was the plan. Um, instead I just did an astrophysics free elective at university and had a great time doing that. It was amazing. And free time. I love reading about space and astronomy and astrophysics and all that stuff. Oh, so I'm really hoping there's a lot of talk about that, though it might just be more about the two people connecting, more a slice of life than astronomy. But that's fine too. As long as there's some astronomy, I'm good with it. Next we have got Until I Love Myself one. So is this a series and not a one shot by Viz? This has had a bunch of hype about it. I hope it's an interesting read. I hope it doesn't make me too sad. Sometimes like volumes like this make me sad because often people in it are unhappy and I don't want them to be unhappy. I just want them to be happy and have like a nice life and be loved and I don't know. I hope, it, I hope it's a jolly read. I was like, I think we're close to the bottom, but there's still like seven volumes or something in here. There are two more that I think I'm expecting and I hope we get to them. So we have got, this is screwed up, but I was reincarnated as a girl in another world, seven. I did talk about this East Kai in one of my East Kai videos. This was a really fun one. It is kind of Minecrafty, but not as heavy on Minecrafty as survival in another world, my mistress. This one I enjoy. This is one that I was worried that sometimes the title has like a silly gimmick of volume one. You're like, that's fun. And then the gimmick kind of dies off the more you read it. I don't think I felt that way too much with this one. I do still enjoy reading it the further in I've gotten. I also like that it's like ever so slightly smutty, but not smutty enough to warrant being plastic wrap. <laughs> okay, got, we have got, ooh, Persona 5, 10. I, I gosh. Oh, I've just realised who's on the cover. It's Haru. Is the name Haru? It is Haru. So Persona 5, I have actually played. I didn't get right to the end, but I know what happens at the end. And I do think it is a good ad adaptation of the game. But I do think sometimes, sometimes having played the game and then reading the manga, it can be a bit too much. And it's like, you can get a bit, like, especially dungeons. I don't think dungeons are ever done well in manga when they're based off a game which is unfortunate like i don't think the zelda ones because obviously well maybe it's just personal preference because like obviously going through a dungeon is not going to be that thrilling to write about so they quite quickly push you through them in the story and i'm like but no i spent so many days trying to grind out this dungeon go back in and do something else but I, that i can agree i can i can understand that might just be a me personal preference thing but i think we must be hitting palace five is it five for this one so we're actually making good progress. I imagine I'd be surprised if it wrapped up before like 20 volumes though, maybe. Or maybe it'll hit just around 20. Not sure, not sure. Okay, next we've got, yes, this is one of the volumes I was hoping to see, Eminence in Shadow 3. This is actually the one of three and four that I've struggled to find the most. I did, after ordering it, think I saw it on Amazon, but it was like RRP and I'm like, nah, I paid six pounds something for this, woohoo. I can't wait to binge this one, like, really badly. I can't wait to binge this one so much. We are so close to the end now, actually. <laughs> I'm so happy. Ooh, a reincarnated witch spells doom. Now, is this isekai? <laughs> yes, it is an isekai. On her 18th birthday, shut in Sena Shiari finally works up the courage to leave the comfort of her home only to be hit by a truck. Truck and why? See, this is why I don't leave the house. I'm gonna get hit by a truck and get isekai and my manga's not gonna be there and I'll be very sad, along with my cats. And Ben, and Ben, whoops. <laughs> very, very, very excited for this one. This one and uh, Handyman Saito, and I actually know that Yen Press have released another few isekai over the last week, so I'm gonna go and see if I can order them after this one, I think. Okay, next. Next, we got Yes, this was the other volume I was like, this, is it in here? And it is Ladies on Top, 
too. I mean, I know this came out months ago, but like Forbidden Planet, it just didn't get stock. I think it was meant to come out months ago. So I kind of abandoned him. And also it was a little bit cheaper on sci-fi. At first I was like, it's not quite cheap enough for me to bother putting the effort in to move my order. But then like, I've still not got it, so I've moved it anyway. And here we go, I have now got both two and three. Aha! Uh -huh. And I've got an Outbride four. And the final volume in this whole order is We Can't Do Just Plain Love Volume 1 by Tokyo Pop. And damn, look at that cover! Like, this was originally going to be my very first sci-fi haul, um, but they ran out of stock, unfortunately, before I could place the order. And then it came back in stock and I was like, yes, 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 yes. Uh, it is apparently quite smutty, so I'm not going to open it. I'm surprised it's not plastic wrapped. But I'm not sure if Tokyo Pop do plastic wrapped. You know what surprises me is it's matte. I didn't actually realize it was a matte volume, but I think I love it. I'm so excited. Oh my God. Oh dear. What do I read first? Right, let's get rid of the box and let's see them all together. Oh no, I don't want to just, oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Well, I didn't stack that well, did I? Oh dear. I am balancing it with my leg. Oh, there goes Fire Force. Okay, so we have the whole hole in front of us. That, ah, oh, I'm so, I, I, oh. God, I was the last time I was this excited for a haul. I don't know. I can't believe how much of it is new releases, how much new stuff is coming out every month now. As I said, I think the only stuff I picked up that weren't new releases were the two volumes I picked up for the giveaway, Eminence in Shadow 3 and 4, and Ladies on Top 2. So that is five volumes out of all of this. Oh damn. Oh damn. I know some of you will be like, well, don't have to stay, you don't have to stay up to date with everything. Yes, I know, I know, I don't have to, but I want to. That's the problem. And this was so much fun, and I love doing this. So I'll definitely be doing it again. I feel like going forward, you're probably going to see more massive sci fi unboxings, especially if the prices are staying around the same. I mean, look at all these things I want to read first. I want to read Comey, One Piece, Dr. Stone, Cross Dressing Villainess, Sendence. Splendid Monster Maid, Quality Assurance, Sam Spider, Alice in Borderland, basically every volume I can see, and this one. Damn, damn! If any of these volumes have caught your eye, be sure to check out Sci-Fi, I'll leave a link in the description, and also make sure to use code CAKETENS to get 10% off your order. Woo! And also make sure that you are logged in when you place your order so you can accumulate loyalty points which then lead to more money off. If you haven't already, be sure to like, comment and subscribe for lots and lots of mag content. This video I'm going to try and just push up immediately the next week. The moment I've finished editing it, it will go up and there's going to be a bunch of content already filmed. If you're interested in early access, check out my channel memberships. It is 99p a month. And also if you're interested in lots of fun manga discussions, check out the Dudette Discord server, which you can also find a link for down below. Otherwise, thank you so much for joining me. I'm gonna go curl up in a corner and read for about a week straight. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Bye.